he has a really, really big heart. Let's draw a big heart in here. He's very kind, very gentle. Oh, I love it! He's so good to everyone. Hello everyone, how are you feeling today? How are you feeling today, Gigi? Today, it is a really, really special day because we're going to use our imagination, our mind, and we're going to draw our imaginary friend, our perfect imaginary friend. Let's imagine, well, my best friend is Gigi, but my very best friend, the imaginary friend, would be someone with some superpowers, maybe, maybe really colorful because that brings a lot of joy and happiness. I'll just start drawing my imaginary friend and you shall do this too. Let's start. My imaginary friend. Just draw, this is his head. His eyes, his nose, One eye, other one. One eye is blue, and the other one is brown. them birthmarks. And then another one. And then he has some curly hair in here. Short hair in here. It's beautiful. My imaginary friend has some flowers as well. On top of his head.
because he has superpowers. has a really, really big heart. Let's go 
got a big heart in here. He's very kind, very gentle. Oh, I love it! He's so good to everyone. Big heart. It's beautiful! He's a very good teacher wow. as well, and he teaches kids about shapes, a triangle, a rectangle, a circle, a square, almost a square. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy! He loves animals.
at that! My perfect imaginary friend! <gasps> in here he has curly hair and is brown. And in here he has short hair and is yellow, blonde hair. He really, really loves animals. That's why I drew a dog. <laughs> And he's also a really good teacher and he likes to teach children about shapes and colors as well. And he has a flower on top of his head because he really, really, really loves nature and plants and flowers. He's a very, very good person and a very good friend. And he also has a really, really, really big heart. Because as I said, he's a really, really good person. He loves colors and he loves dogs and he loves people and that's why he's so special. He's a super special imaginary friend. That's why he has a cape as well. <gasps> and I named him Hugo because I love this name. What do you think, Didi? Didi? Huh? Hey Didi, don't be upset, you're still my best friend. But this is my imaginary friend. And now it's your turn. Just grab some colors and start drawing your imaginary friend. How does it look like? 